Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. Today we're going to be discussing Ifrit, his gameplay, and his build. But before that, if you wanted updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so we have here Ifrit. So Ifrit is a new addition to the collection of mechs that we have. So far, I think one of the best compliments to your mech build. But again, he is not only good for mech builds, but all around good for any other team that you have. So if it belongs to old administration, what makes him good is actually his three deployment cost, SSR as well, um, striker, ground type, and uh, also all around attack. He is a striker, but he does it from range. That is what is cool and what is good about him initially. Let's take a look at his stats, guys. So. From his stats, you have his weakness. We'll go first with his weakness. So his HP is actually below average at 28,642. Crit is also at below average at 600. His evasion is obviously low at 111. And his uh, hit is also below average at 732. His strengths actually are his attack, which is above average at 4,807. Uh, 4, and his um, defense is actually high, okay, at 1,290. So he, he is a tough, tough striker to deal with, range as well. Um, and I will, we'll talk about his skills, guys, because this is very interesting. Okay, for Ifrit's uh, skill info, we will start with a basic skill. So basic attack, he only has valid hits of one, so fires... It's four machine guns at the foremost target. So foremost, uh, it means the furthest. Uh, foremost, I think the nearest, sorry. The foremost is the nearest target. Periodically inflicting damage. The attack stops after 12 seconds. So, or if the target dies, uh, move seven meters away from him. Okay. Level two, three, four, and five. Total basic damage addition is going to be 20%. Next is going to be his uh, one of two passive skills. So you have here reinforced barrier coating. So this is what makes him tanky. It's equipped with the reinforced version of the administration. A standard issued barrier casts a barrier equal to 70% of the max HP. Take note that um, this will be a negative when he faces Nayubin. So there will be certain conditions in leveling this up later. So when deployed and becomes immune to hit stun, from special or lower skills for this buyer's duration okay level two three and four it's going to be an additional um percentage for his defense which is 20 percent, which is actually good because already he's, he has very he has high defense already this one at level five um the recommendation for this one is if you're going to use him in pvp do not level up level five so level five is going to be buyer covers 100% of max HP because in PvP, you'll be encountering Nayubin and Nayubin will have a field day with him if he has this leveled up. So if you're going to be using him only in PvE, not in PvP, you can actually level this up. But again, reminder, crucial because once you level this up, you can't go back. Do not level up level 5 of reinforced barrier coating if you're going to use him in PvP. So I hope that's clear already, okay? Next is his other passive, which is Accuracy Stabilization OS. The closer the target, the more accurate the firing of his shots. Inflicts 5% more damage to defenders. So again, clue, he is really going to be hitting hard for defenders level two three and four um, additional damage to defenders is going to be 20 percent so a total of 25 percent that is actually crazy um level five damage to striker an additional 20 percent as well again front lines are going to be to be crying especially for tanks with ifrit in the battlefield so again as much as possible, keep him alive when he faces Nayubin because he will be one of those, you know, anti Nayubins, uh, anti Nayubin uh, strikers, so th that you can, you know, sh shred Nayubin as well um, if his barrier is not up to 100% max HP. Okay, let's proceed to his special skill Eternium Acceleration. 
Um, the cooldown for this one is 25 seconds. Temporary temporarily increases output, increases attack speed by 25% for 8 seconds. So this contributes to its attack speed. Uh, level 2, 3, 4 buff duration is going to add 4 seconds for the 8, which makes it 12. And at level 5, buff also adds defense penetration of 25%, which is kind of crazy, guys. So as you can see, uh, Ifrit is going to be a head scratcher when you encounter him in the field. Okay, so next is going to be his gears. Okay, as you can see here, for my Ifrit, he is already at level uh, 70, I think. Yeah, level 70 and I equipped him with uh, attack. All attacks. So two sets of attack uh, gear. So it will bump up his attack more and deal more damage. He already has good attack speed. So, But if you want to increase his attack speed more, then you can change this to attack speed. Okay, so th those are only the two selections for gear set. Either go all attack or go attack speed. Next is his gear stats. The gear stats here. So preferably the gear stats, the stat that you are looking at is going to be hit. Because again, his hit is below average. So you need to bump up his hit. So you're going to have to look for that. And also defense, additional defense will not, you know, will not be um taken for granted so again a defense is going to be good uh hit defense additional hp if you want for additional survivability or additional attack that's it that's it for him um again gear stats would be hp hit attack and defense so those are the things that you should consider as well when you are building if read okay let's so take let's take a look at his uh, deployment strategy Okay, so when deploy when deploying Ifrit, he is usually going to be your off tank. He is not going to be your tank. He's going to be your off tank. But he's a tank. Well, sorry, not not that one. But again, seriously, he is going to be your off tank. He's going to be good because he has a little bit more of a if your tank is actually pushing up on those units, your those enemies, he's going to be way back here. So he's going to be kind of far already. So he's going to enjoy that range because, again, he's going to deal damage to your opposing tanks. As you can see there, that is actually his skill. So again, let's try to use his skill. Very cute animation. So no frills animation for him. So great off tank. Great and defense penetration. Good range for a striker again. And also one of the best strikers to use, not necessarily, okay, on mech teams. You can use him in any team that you wish, okay? So not restricted to mech teams. So that is it. Very simple. Um, keep him healthy, keep him happy, and he'll shred the tanks on the opposite side. Okay, my final thoughts for this little guy. This little guy packs a punch, I tell you. Uh, PvE wise, he would be a 10 out of 10. Very versatile, can be used in any PvE PvE game mode. Again, you'll, you you can't you know you can't go wrong with him. Um, he's going to be a, a very good staple in your lineup when you use him. As for PvP, he's also going to be a 10 out of 10 if you intend to use him there. Has very high attack speed and can penetrate defenses and can shred tanks. Obviously, is going to be good a good matchup to any tank. On the other side, either it's going to be a defender or a striker. And do, do not forget, again, this is a reminder to level up. Do not level up. Level 5 of reinforced coating if you intend to use him in PvP. That's it. So again, uh, with that, if you don't level up that level five, level five skill, he's not gonna cry when Nayubin is, is on the opposite side. Uh, for those who have stuck far this video, um, I hope you do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Uh, also guys, don't forget to click that bell icon and also like this video. Thank you guys, stay safe, take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.